Hey guys, today we're reviewing One Punch Man Season 1. But just before we get into the video for today, if you are enjoying the content that I'm putting out there, please do consider subscribing, turning on that notifications, it really helps us out. But with that being said, let's get right on and into the video for today. All right, guys, we're reviewing season one of One Punch Man here on the channel. I thought I would do this. I know it's a bit late for some people, perhaps, to see an anime review about a series that came out like maybe a couple of years ago now. Uh, but hey, you know what? I'm going to do it. I don't really care. Hey, I want to talk about it just a little bit. Uh, and whatnot, overall impressions, etc., of season one, because I actually watched it uh, just to see if I liked One Punch Man uh, and and get into it and, and see some of the episodes and whatnot. Um, personally, honestly, I didn't really love One Punch Man as what, what I thought I would like One Punch Man. Uh, I think, like, I like it a little bit more than I like Dragon Ball, but I have a lot of nostalgia for Dragon Ball, um, you know, as a kid watching it. Um, but I don't actually like Dragon Ball as much as what I used to like Dragon Ball as a kid. I think it's one of those shows that you really, really like as a kid because it's really, really simple and, like, pretty badass. And especially when it's, like, one of the only few animes that's on, it's like, oh, yeah, this is fine, this is cool, and this is... Oh, yeah, let's go, Goku, yeah, use the spirit bomb, I'll give you my energy type, you know, like, uh, you know, and it's all just, like, fighting and stuff, and that's what us guys and whatnot are into anyway, kind of thing, for the most part. Um, so, it, and it's, like, got villains in it and all this other stuff, so the good guys have got something to fight against and all that sort of stuff, so there's all that good stuff in that show, and, and like, this show has that too, but, like, after watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I kind of feel like this is, like, a show, like, it should be much more like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and not take itself so seriously, in a sense. Like, there should be certainly some serious parts to certain animes and whatnot, but just for me, just for my taste... Um, I didn't really like it that much because I felt that it was a bit too serious and there wasn't enough joke or meme or whatever value in, in the series. Maybe it gets better in the next few series or whatever, um, so I don't know that. But just overall, I just didn't click with the series. Um, like, it was cool in a way that there was a lot of references to, like, this is a trope and it's just like, oh, well, you know, it is anime tropes, you know, dot, you know, dot, dot series, like, and, you know, like, that is what it is. I'm not going to go through every single episode for the most part. I'm just going to go through generically what I kind of think of the first season uh, and whatnot uh, and some of the characters and some of the villains and some of the the, the more major storylines, I guess, because there's not actually that many major storylines in the first series. Um, but the main story, I guess, is Saitama getting into the uh, Hero Academy, basically, or whatever whatever they're calling it, but, but that basic thing, whatever it is. And the main meme, it, I guess, here is that he's too dumb to, like, pass the written or whatever exams and whatnot. Um, and, but yet he's just so strong, so powerful, so fast, all this stuff, whatever, that he aces all the, you know, physical stuff. Um, and yet they give him a, you know, incredibly low rank, like, like stupidly low for like his, you know, speed, strength, you know, whatever, all this other stuff. Like, but just because he got such low scores in, in the theoretical, he's like really smart in battle, but he's not very smart in terms of, like, bookwork or, or whatnot, and in terms of that sort of stuff, because um, he's got good reaction speeds and things like that, of course, as many uh, anime characters do. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, like, it's one of those things. Everyone's always going to uh, put against, uh, these characters against one another and whatnot. Like, who would win against One Punch Man versus Goku? 
And it's one of those things that I don't love to get into that sort of stuff. But if you guys really want to see me discuss some of that stuff, I wouldn't mind doing some of that, like who would win in this battle or whatever. But I don't think there's any point in discussing like certain battles or whatnot, because like One Punch Man is that trope. He is just One Punch Man. Like he wins no matter what, if he can hit something just that one time, like so like the goal of like or whatever of him getting through the, a fight isn't to like really win it's just like to hit someone like and that's not going to be that hard and really like he doesn't have energy beams or whatnot and all that sort of stuff but he doesn't really need it um so yeah like like in that terms and, and whatnot, yeah, it, it, it's a bit different, but whatever. It's just one of those things. But anyway, we'll get back to it as we're discussing um, the series here. Um, the His sidekick character, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, his apprentice character there, um, who, you know, lost his whole body or whatnot, and now is basically a robot. I think he, his character being super respectful and, and whatnot of Saitama and all this and knowing his actual strengths and knowing how good he is and everyone else kind of doubting him despite him being the one who actually like saves the day and whatnot that kind of plays into an interesting like dynamic and like everyone thinks he's cheating or using steroids or something else or whatever any of this other stuff or somebody else must have beaten the the monster or whatever or whatnot they all think it's a lie because he's like seemingly like ranked so low and whatnot and all of this so obviously he couldn't really defeat something that they couldn't defeat when they're you know much higher ranked than than what he is so whatever uh, like again like i say like his like abilities are not really into like I guess brain power and all that other stuff really it's more into like physicality and and whatnot so he's maxed out in in that regard and even like his training regimen is a meme again like but it's not big enough meme value to to me like run a thousand miles do a thousand push-ups keep doing that whatever all that sort of stuff but you know like eventually he just got you know like ridiculously strong somehow by doing this over and over and over um and somehow like it, it, this has always been another anime trope that especially with dragon ball and whatnot that the stronger you get the more hair you get so this is kind of the opposite where he's gotten so strong apparently that he's lost all his hair uh and whatnot so yeah that's that's also another like opposite trope to dragon ball it's it has a lot of references to like lots of like you know animes like that like dragon ball so that's why you get a lot of those comparisons between like you know who's stronger and whatnot because you get those references to a lot of those different animes and it's always like one of those things a lot of anime fans will will discuss non-stop no matter what anyway um like i could never say that there's anything really super duper referential towards naruto or whatnot in a sense but certainly uh any anime that is like this shonen protagonist um style anime um and whatnot is going to have a lot of an elements that are similar to a lot of other anime that are like this and usually i really like shonen sort of style anime and most the most successful anime that have crossed over into the west have been the shonen you know style anime and and whatnot so Again, that's what most people kind of like or what most people have been accustomed to for the past, you know, 20 plus, 30 plus years or whatever it is. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, like that's one of those things. It's just that way because I, I don't know, like, you know, that's the trope in Japan of their comics and, and whatnot that they put together as well you know like and that's a lot of tropes as well in dc comics and in marvel comics and in western comics you know you see a lot of the same sort of tropes sometimes so it is a very cultural thing to see a lot of the similar sort of tropes blazed out in a lot of 
media that you know come from the same country or you know because they have the same sort of sub values and whatnot and that sort of thing and whatnot um the young like fairy flying young lady with the green hair i like her and i like some of the like who is this small child stuff that goes on with saitama and all that but she's like a ba badass you know like fighter as well but she's just not nearly as badass as what saitama is um obviously but and i don't think anyone is and it will ever be and that's like the problem that i have as well with the series as that the villains and the enemies and this is another problem that i kind of have with the show and it, it kind of plays off this issue to a degree is that no matter how powerful or how you know amazing the villain is saitama just comes in and punches them and it's all over it's like oh okay well cool um well you know like the drama has to come from elsewhere until saitama literally turns up at the last minute and punches the, the living hell out of them so it's like goku but way worse because you know goku comes in and at least like you have a fight and then you get the resolution whereas you have like saitama who just comes in and just like punches them and oh it's over now oh, okay well i guess we better clean up and wander off into the sunset or whatever or whatnot you know but saitama's often like especially like in some fights he's like ah why why can't i find somebody who's you know worthy of me and and my powers and all this like i like some of the you know strong character references that they kind of do like that where they're you know like biddy hates it he hates that he's so strong sometimes but he has to be so strong because otherwise he can't save the day um you know or and no one else really could save the day other than him but he hates it because he's just so strong and he can't find worthy opponents and he really wants to find a worthy opponent to face him in combat. Um, but no one really can. But, you know, so there is a little bit of that, you know, tragedy-ish, like, of, like, I'm too damn strong, like, going throughout the entire series um, and, he, you know, like, whatnot. So... It is interesting. I think it's like one time there in a, in his dream, he had this dream of fighting these these mole men. It was kind of like a prediction to a degree, and then suddenly the mole men, you know, it it turned out to be a dream in the you know and whatnot. And then it's like, oh, okay. And then suddenly the mole men are really attacking, and then he's like, oh, these guys are actually really weak. So, oh, um, mm, well, um, so much for that dream or <laughs> whatever. You know, like. There's a lot of little references, like, here and there that he kind of maybe has some sort of, like, foresight sometimes or whatnot, things like that. Uh, I think the one of the funnier ones was, like, the fly that he couldn't swat. Like, that was kind of funny. Like, uh, like uh, I don't know. That, that was just, like, how does that work? Like, I don't know. But it was just, like, kind of silly um, and things like that. So, you know, like, I think the season finale like that was pretty epic actually i think that that was pretty it was pretty cool like again it's not like the show is bad and it's not like the show doesn't have some parts to it that i do like but it's just like overall i just couldn't bring myself really to like it that much i know some people really like it but i just i just didn't get into it um personally i know that there will be other people that are out there that that really like it as i said i said but hey if you like it you like it but i do i would agree that it is an anime that some people will will pick up and will like so i would rate it um to say hey you know if you want to check it out if you haven't already which some people haven't i know but still like again i don't want to give away too much of the stuff um that's in the series for too many of the people that haven't really watched it and whatnot. Um, so, you know, like it's one of those things that, you know, I'd rather just like leave it pretty vague for the most part, like a, a lot of that sort of stuff. But the main story going through it is that whole, like, so Tama getting into the Academy, 
thing, whatever it is, the Hero Alliance, whatever it is, and then him, you know, having to try to constantly prove himself, even though he's the strongest person there and all this sort of stuff and, and whatnot. And then, you know, this whole arc comes towards the end, um, which is pretty epic with aliens and all this other stuff, um, you know. Um, so that's that's really a cool little arc to go on to um, and whatnot. So, yeah, like, there's always going to be something in the series. I think, like, some of the backstory, like Saitama's, um, you know, pupil there, he, his backstory is pretty interesting uh, and pretty tragic. Saitama's backstory is pretty interesting um, as well. Like, all of these... All of these people, I haven't heard, seen the, um, the young girls or whatever. She's not really young girls, but whatever. There's a bunch of other heroes that'll be in this series as well. I'm sure that it'll be uh, fleshed out a little bit more, um, along with her. But yeah, like, uh, I would like to see some of that stuff to a degree. But again, I'm not going to really watch much of the series unless you guys actually tell me, hey, can you please, like, do reviews for season two or whatever, or anything like this. Um, because I only watched this, again, to sort of see if I liked it personally. I'd heard some good things about it. Um, I heard it's kind of funny and I heard it's kind of silly and it does it takes the mickey out of itself and out of shonen anime. Um, so I was expecting a lot more of that taking the mickey out of, shonen anime and whatnot that's kind of what i was looking for i was much more looking for that it's a meme of a show type deal like i get some of it is like like that to a degree and some of the tropes of it's anti like satisfaction and whatnot and all this sort of stuff um type deal is is what they are kind of going for and whatnot and how tragic it actually is to not get like satisfaction out of what you what you're wanting to do um but yet that's the only way to sort of like really have you know enough strength to actually do the jobs that you know Saitama has to deal with kind of but again it's just one of those things that it, it didn't quite appeal to me but I would as I said rank it for other people to watch uh it is fairly violent and fairly bloody in several parts so again this is not just a pg show this is a you know you need to be a mature ish person you need to be able to deal with blood and guts and gore and fighting and violence and all that sort of stuff um and of course with any anime there's fan service as well so there's not a huge amount in in this one but there certainly is some um of course like again but there is also female fan service there's a lot of female fan service in this one because like well it's mostly about these really buff guys for the most part you know doing really strong things doing really you know weird things in their underwear or basically their underwear or whatever and things like that so yeah like or like super suits that where you can really see like the outlines of like all their muscles and things like that so yeah but Anyway, like, it is what it is. That That's always going to be a part of animes and whatnot uh, and those tropes and whatnot again as well. So it's one of those things, you, you know, I, I, I even like in Pokemon, they've had that sort of stuff. And, like, I know they've had a lot more sort of, like, romantic sort of stuff in, in recent years and whatnot. But, again, they had a lot of sort of, you know, more, I guess fan service references and whatnot sort of in the earlier days of the series and whatnot but anyway uh that is pretty much it for this discussion about series one and my thoughts on series one of one punch man um you know uh you guys can tell me what you guys think of one punch man or whatever and you want it to say and and whatnot you know do you want me to do another one do you want me to do any more of these like what other animes do you want me to talk about because i'd rather talk about something else that i really actually liked um if i actually had a like this then i would have had more to sort of say and whatnot and more depth to sort of go into but again i don't want to go too much in too much depth even though most people have probably seen it i know that some people probably haven't so it's just one of those things that i like to try to skirt that rim of being like oh okay well 
Anyway, uh, let's just talk about the main sort of idea of what, like, the show's about and what I think about it and what I think about some of the characters and whatnot um, and whatnot. So, yeah, you guys can let me know your thoughts on all that sort of stuff. Write them down there in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond to any and all comments that I can. I love interacting with you guys, talking about anime, gaming, and all the geeky things we love. Uh, but, yeah, if I don't see you down there in those comments, I'll see you in the next one.